Bedtime with Mrs. Anibi. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness. What have you done, Melody B? What have I done? Where are they? Oh no, they have to be here. They don't have legs to just walk away right off the shelf. Or do they? Oh my goodness, Melody B, get it together. Melody B, are you okay in here? What are you doing in my writing room? Buried under a pile of books? Uh, hi. Hi. Do you need help? No, no, thank you. I don't need any help finding anything because nothing is lost. Mrs. Honeybee, nothing is lost. Because stories can't grow legs and walk away, right? Stories? You mean our Honeybee neighborhood stories? They live lives of their own making. I bet some of them do have legs. <laughs> um, oh, Mrs. Honeybee, did you hear that? Mr. Honeybee needs you downstairs. Oh, really? I didn't hear him. I'll be right there, my dear. Do you know what's going on with Melody Bee? She's acting strange, yeah. Stranger than usual. Where did you go? Stories, please come back. I just wanted to sneak you off the shelves to revisit the adventures. They're so much fun. I didn't mean to misplace you or help you grow legs. Ugh, how did 100 stories just disappear? What is the elevated heart rate all about? It's pandemonium, Roger. Wait. How do you know my heart rate is elevated? Besides the point, what can I fix? I lost them. I lost them all, Roger. Melody B, I wasn't calling for Mrs. Honeybee. Tell us what's wrong. We heard you whispering. Maybe we can help. This is bad, bad. Oh no, is it really? You think so? What is it? Uh, well, I did something totally by accident. Roger, why are you wheeling away backwards? I can see you. Gotta zoom. Enjoy your bad news. Ugh. Okay, just say it, Melody Bee. Just say it. I'm so sorry, Mrs. Honeybee. If you don't want to be my BFF anymore, I totally understand. I get it. This is horrible. Unforgivable. What is it, Melody B? What's so bad that it will come between us as BFFLs? I lost all of your stories. All of them. Every last one of them. Over 100 stories and meditations from all all of our adventures around the honeybee neighborhood with little honeybee they're all gone because of me what do you mean gone I is it over yet is the band-aid off roger i've confessed it's all over i'm packing my bags i lost the stories i'm a loser a literal loser of stories. The best stories. I've lost them. Do you mean all the stories I had here, in my writing room, lining the shelves? Yeah, but those ones. <laughs> oh, oh, Melody B, you didn't lose them. What do you mean? We moved them, Melody B. They're safe and sound. I figured out an easy peasy way for our little honeybee to listen to every single honeybee neighborhood story and meditation. We put them 
on Spotify and Apple Podcasts. On what? Spotify? You hit them in an apple? Suffice it to say that Mr. Honeybee set up all the stories we created in a place where they can be shared rather than just here on the shelf. You didn't lose the stories, Melody B. Please don't worry. Oh my goodness, thank the rainbows above. Totally knew that. I was just joshing you, MB. No, you weren't, Roger Robot. Because I just got done setting it up while you were upgrading your software. Oh, uh, I had an inkling. Uh, right. <laughs> well, why don't you tell little Honeybee how to access all the stories? I can totally do that. I can. Just give me a minute. No, you cannot find the answer by reading my mind. I'm thinking about spaghetti and will be for the next several minutes. Um, okay, okay. I got this. You got this, Roger. Okay, I know. All you have to do is look for a prompt to subscribe for exclusive episodes at the top of this podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts. That will prompt you to subscribe and join us here in the Honeybee neighborhood. How'd you do that? I'm a miracle of science, Mr. Honeybee. Silly question. Would you like a list of adventures, perhaps in alphabetical order? Oh, sure. First, we have the art of apples. Then, how could I forget, a bird's eye view from our jetpacks. Shall I continue? Yes, please. I love remembering all of our adventures. For C, we have canyoneering the day away. And for D, we have day, comma, beach. Beach day. <laughs> Had to get a little creative with that one. And for E, remember that time the elephant knocked at the door? Oh yeah, that was a hoot. One of my favorites for G is gone fishing. One of Harold's most favorite is Harold Goes to the Vet, which has a bit of a twist. You wouldn't expect that adventure to be a dog's favorite, but it totally is. Like Roger Robot said, all you have to do is scroll to the top of this podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcast and click to subscribe for exclusive episodes. Or you can visit honeybeelibrary.com. That's honeybeelibrary.com. That will deliver you directly to the Honeybee neighborhood, where you can listen to hundreds of new stories and meditations that you've never heard before. We just had to get these stories off the shelf and into the hearts of all the little honeybees out there. Phew. This honeybee's heart is very relieved about that. <laughs> More stories are added every month in the Honeybee neighborhood, and a little extra bonus for you is included. I've written my first book. It's called Harold's Buried Treasure. But it's not just any book. It's an illustrated audiobook. That means that this audiobook has pictures that you can view on any device. 30 vibrant pictures to go along with an hour long story. Immerse yourself in the vivid adventure that takes us to the bottom of the ocean, inside a sunken ship, and off to dig tunnels on a remote island. It's a story and an adventure that is very close to my heart. That all came about because little Mr. Harold here decided to escape from the backyard. But I'm glad he did because he took us on an unforgettable journey. I can't wait to see you for our next adventure, my little honeybee. To listen to all of these not lost honeybee neighborhood stories, <laughs> go to the top of this podcast on Spotify or Apple Podcasts and click to subscribe for exclusive episodes or visit honeybeelibrary.com. 
There you'll find all of our favorite adventures safe and sound and waiting for you, little honeybee. Always remember, Mrs. Honeybee believes in you. You are special and you are loved. I can't wait to see you again. <laughs>